County Romania leaders over the Federal National League, of course, despite a seven goal thriller involving Deadpool FC, who's going to come out on top this coming weekend. We're going to take a look at it, all of it, next. That's right, folks. Bob's going to be a prediction video today. Look forward to match number five. Get to that in just one second. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe and back to all things National League related, Black Rose League, World Cup related later this year. That's right. Good squish me, I am here trooping on through with the old COVID. Uh, but of course, we are keeping uh, uh, abreast uh, of the games going on in the Van Rama National League. We'll take a look at it, all of it in a second. Of course, people shout out to my VRPs, they are the patrons. But anyway, let's jump in the deep end, recap the results, which took way, 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 way back. Uh, now, of course, uh, since these games took place, uh, but of course, recap of the results and of course, see where we are in the prediction league. So here we go, kicking it off with Dynamo Redbridge against South End United. They're all square there, one on a piece. Um, I went with the win for the hosts, uh, but I got that one uh, wrong. Meanwhile, Ochigam, uh, for one win over Dorking, I went the other way. Bro Bromley with the draw against Gateshead, I went with the one nil win for Bromley. Looks like I did shite this week. Eastley with the 2-1 win over Chesterfield, I went the other way. Woking did lose to, to, to uh, Notts County, 3-2 at one. Was five goal thriller there, two one win for me. Uh, Older with a one nil win, that was my pick. Well, it was a draw. Maidstone uh, did draw with Halifax Town, and that's what I got in the end. Scunthorpe with a three three draw against Older Shot, two one of course got that wrong as well. Wheelstone did lose to Boreham Wood, two two for me. Wrexham though seven five winners over Barnet. Goodness gracious me, I just went with a two nil, but I got the result right. Uh, so there was a shocker loss there against Yeovil Town and York with a one nil win of Torquay. So I did pretty much ass. That's what I did there. Uh, Take a look at the table. This is what it looks like. Notts County leading charge just by one point. Uh, of course, breathing down the next is Deadpool FC. Then, of course, it's Bourne Wood, Chesterfield, Bromley, Sunny Hormones. And then York going down, though. Maidstone, uh, Old Shot, Scunthorpe United, and Torquay United. Of course, let's take a look at that prediction leaderboard. Then, here we go. Take a bloody bow. These guys, Frosty, Watton, of course, Alex Weller, Corey Trout, uh, and Shane O'Donnell there, kicking ass, getting five there, well done to them, I think I'd got, I would have been bottom of the pile there, with of course like one, but of course the overall leaderboard is, did it, did it, Alex Weller, 69 dude, 60 bloody nine, uh, kicking ass and taking names, and of course he'll keep on trucking, keep on predicting, keep on, keep the heat, keep, keep, keep it going on, it does look like uh, a top five race, maybe six, if you want to get, if Shepard get, can uh, have a good strong week, but really it's very tight, these top three, but never rule out the Frosty, because he's right in the mixer there, kicking on four so this is the link, Cutty Fortress Non League. It is 100% free. You can still get your name and lights, and you can still actually win. If you start now, you can still actually win. Yes, believe it or not, you can still win. But anyway, this is, of course, the next round of games, of course, coming at you uh, this coming weekend, starting on the 21st of October. Uh, it'll be Notts County up against Maidstone. Let's take a long hour look at this one, then, shall we? Now, these two sides have never played each other, according to my eyes, in recent years, anyway. And Notts County, though, 67% form for them, just one defeat past five, uh, up against the Maidstone side without a win in the last eight. Uh, goodness gracious me. Last time around, though, Notts County with a 3-2 loss to Colville in the uh, FA Cup qualifying uh, round four. Meanwhile, Mason the same, losing a Needham Market. 1-0 loss there. Some shockers uh, in the qualifying phase uh, as uh, as the FA Cup starts to rear its lovely head. Uh, kicking off forward, I've got basic odds on this one. Basic odds go in favour of the hosts. They are Notts County. I'm going to go with a 2 nil win myself. Back the odds and back the Notts County all the bloody way. Next, of course, we have Older Shot. Uh, they'll be taking on York City, of course, coming at you on the 22nd of October. Now, these two sides have played 12 times done four five wins apiece two draws uh ultra coming at you in 22nd spot york of course up as high as seventh right now and york of course just won to fight in the past five 58 percent form up against the old shot side without a win in five so three times four for them heading into this uh, of course last time around though over in older shot it was a new nil draw back in january 2017 the home side hasn't won the last four games here uh the last time the home side was was when york beat old shot in york back in january 2008 old shot with a two nil gets chelsea in the fa cup as well qualifying round and York with a 2-1 win of a buddy AFC to make it through to the next round of course but the odds here basic odds go in favour of the visitors they are favoured to win this game I'm going with the 1-1 draw myself point split right to the middle who will fancy it I think Old Shot will be happier than the two next of course we have the game of the day of course it is was it third place Boreham Wood I've got second place Wrexham of course 
over at Bournemouth Wood. Played each other 14 times down 15. One win for Bournemouth Wood. 11 was for Wrexham. Two draws, of course. Bournemouth Wood, though, just one defeat of the past six. 67% fall for them right now. Up against the Wrexham side. Also one defeat of the past six. 67% fall for them heading into this as well. Last round, though, over at Bournemouth Wood. It was a 1-1 draw back in May 2022. Uh, Wrexham unbeaten, though, in the last six against Bournemouth Wood. Picking up four wins and a couple of draws as well. Uh, Bournemouth with a 5-3 win over Wheelstone in the FA Cup qualifying phase. Meanwhile, uh, Blythe picked up a draw against Deadpool FC. Uh, of course, they'll have to do that again uh, in a replay at some stage. But of course, uh, coming into this, the bookies do uh, fancy uh, actually Wrexham on this one. Uh, with, uh, with, however, they have got to play. They're playing a game on the 18th. Uh, which is today. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, we'll see the replay about that one. But, of course, Bucky's back in Wrexham. Are back in, of course, the host here. 2-1 win for Bournemouth, which will be a bit of a surprise to most of you. But kicking on forward, it'll be Dorking against Wheelstone. Let's get into the deep end about this one then, shall we? Of course, coming at you this coming uh, weekend. Play each other three times out of 19. Nothing for Dorking. Two for Wheelstone. One draw, of course. Dorking, though, 42% form for them right now. Just 1-5 up against Wheelstone. So also, one, defeat, uh, one win in six for them. 25% form heading into this. That's the round, though, over in Dorking in competitive action. Uh, was uh, back in November 2019. It was in the National League South. It was a 2-2 draw over in Dorking. Dorking, though, did lose to Eastleigh in the FA Cup qualifying fa phase. I mean, with Wilson with a big 5-3 loss to Boreham, Bloody Wood. Uh, the odds right here right now, of course, we've got uh, Dorking, uh, favoured for the victory here over Wheelstone. I've gone with a new new draw myself. Point split right down the middle, and again, nobody's going to be really happy with the point on this one. Next, of course, we've Barnet. I'm against Maidenhead. Came out over at Barnet. Now, pleasure the 8 time 2018. Seven was Barnet. Nothing for Maidenhead. One draw, of course. Barnet, though, winning twice in the last six. 42% form for them right now. Maidenhead head though, uh, just one defeat past six 75% form for them, heading into this it looked pretty good right now, Maidenhead, last round over in Barnet, it was a 3-0 win for Barnet back in D December 2021, Barnet unbeaten against Maidenhead over the last six, picking up five wins and a single draw, Maidenhead with a 2-1 win over Eastbourne though, Barnet with a 3-0 win over Western Supermare uh, to get through to the next stage of the FA Cup qualifying phase, of course the bookies find Barnet favoured here for the victor, going to give it to them as well 1-0 win for them, despite Maidenhead's recent Run of form. Next, of course, we have Chesterfield. Chesterfield are up against Bromley. Of course, coming at you this weekend, Chesterfield have gone off the board a little bit. Of course, these two sides played eight times in 2018. One for Chesterfield, four wins for Bromley. I've got three draws, of course. Chesterfield, though, just one win in four for them. 40% form over the last six. Bromley, though, just one win in the last four. Also, 67% form over the last six. However, just one defeat in the past six as well. Coming at you, though, Bromley did uh, did draw with uh, with Chesterfield last time around at Chesterfield back in September 2021. Uh, Chesterfield with a big 3 0 over Anstey, Anstey N, whoever they are, in the FA Cup qualifying. Meanwhile, Bromley with a 2 1 loss Hereford in the FA Cup qualifying. Qualifying phase as well. The bookies fancy Chesterfield on this one. Of course, they're going to bounce back, and I got them winning it as well. Two to win for them uh, to get themselves back in the mixer for potentially push for top two. But realistically, all you need is number one spot. The number one spot is monumental. Gear to head. Uh, Tegan and Woken, of course, come back to the North East. Played to the 12 times 2012. Three wins to Gateshead, six wins for Woking. We've got three draws, of course. Gateshead, though, just one defeat past six. 50% form for them. That's one, one, lost one, and drawn four, of course. Meanwhile, Woking coming to this on 58% form. Just one defeat past five for them. Looking pretty good for them. Themselves, sitting pretty in eighth at the moment. Last round over in the gate, said it was a 1 1 draw back in January 2018. That was in the National League. Gate said with a 2 2 draw against Ultracom, they'll do that again. Working with a 2 1 win over South End United, of course, in the FA Cup qualifying phase as well. Uh, but the bookies do fancy on this one. Of course, Gate said our underdogs working our favour on this one back in Gate said with a 1 1 win at home. It's a long, long way to go for any team uh, to go to that uh, part of uh, the world. Uh, kicking off forward is Halifax Town um, against Dagenham and Redbridge, of course, coming at you this coming Wochenende. Played each other according to my eyes around about 21 times. Turn to 11 wins for Halifax, five wins for Dagenham. We've got five draws, of course. Halifax, though, unbeaten in the last three, 42% form for them right now. Dagenham, though, are uh, uh, just one defeat past six, 67% form for them heading into this. Last time around, though, over in Halifax, it was a one to win for Halifax. That was back in October 2021. Halifax, uh, back to back wins over Dagenham last season, just one defeat past six as well. Kicking off forward, uh, Dagenham with a 7 0 win over Beckenham, of course, in the FA Cup qualifying phase. Halifax with a 3 0 win over St. Ives, of course. Who, I mean, they met a man uh, on their way to St. Ives. But they stomped them 3 0 anyway. Of course, the bookies' odds right here, right now. Uh, Halifax Town are favoured strongly to win this game, and I've got to go with them as well. 2 1 win for Halifax Town, three points in the bag, and again, maybe starting to climb up the table because they're still lingering too closer to the drop. Next, of course, we have Oldham up against Yeovil, of course, coming at you at Boundary Park. Now, these two sides have played each other 20 times to turn five. Six wins for Oldham, eight wins for Yeovil, six draws, of course. Oldham, though, without a win in five now, 42% four for them, up against the Yeovil side. Uh, 1 1 lost one, a draw, and a four, 50% four for them. Heading into this last time around, over in Oldham, it was all 
4-1 win for Oldham. That was in League 2 back in February 2019. Uh, Yeoman with a 0-0 draw against Tolton. They'll do that again. Uh, Oldham with a 1-1 draw against Chester. They'll do that again as well, of course, in the replay. But uh, the book is for this game. Uh, favour, of course, Oldham with the victory here. They are favoured on this one to, to go all the way. Go with them as well. 2 with for Oldham. Get back to winning ways. Uh, to try and uh, reboot their season because it's not really started very well at the moment, has it? Next, of course, are Sully Moors. They're taking on Eastley. Let's get into the deep end on this. Played each other according to my eyes 11 times, 2016. Six wins for Sully Moors, three wins for Eastley, two draws, of course. Sully Moors are just, uh, what we look at, one, 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 uh, one, two, lost two, and drawn two. 50% form for them right now up against the Eastley, ta Eastley side. Unbeaten the last five, picked up three wins and a couple of draws. Last around, though, over at Sully Hall. It was a 5 3 win for the hosts. That was, of course, back in March 2022. Uh, 5 3, Bobby Dazzler. Meanwhile, Sully one win of a Bashford, F uh, Bashford United, uh, of course, Eastleigh with a three win of Dorking uh, in the FA Cup qualifying phase. The bookies, though, fancy the host, of course, they do. Back in Sodium, so am I. 3 1 win for them, and that can actually push them up to a third in the table, depending on what goes on elsewhere. Into the final two, South and United. Up against Scunthorpe United. Of course, come match at Roots Hall, played 23 times. It's done two, eight wins to South End, 10 wins to Scunthorpe, five draws, of course. South End, though, just one, uh, one defeat past six, 58% form for them right now. Up against the Scunthorpe side, also one defeat past six, 50% form, one more lost one, and drawn four heading into this game. Last time around, though, over at Roots Hall, it was a one day win for South End back in December 2020, that was in League Two. South End, though, with a one day loss against South Shields in the FA Cup, with uh, South End losing to Woking, uh, of course. But the odds right here right now, back South End with the victory here, of course, they're favoured. Uh, they are sitting in mid table, but of course, the win could actually get them right closer uh, to those playoffs once again. Going to go with a, t a one-day win for South End on this one. It's got to be got it all to do to save their season from a back-to-back -back relegations. And then wrapping up, wrapping up, it's Torquay. I guess Ultricum will come out at Torquay. Now, these two sides played each other 12 times, so that's an eight, uh, five wins to Torquay, three for Ultricum, four draws, of course. Torquay, though, without a win the last seven games up against the Ultricum side, uh, just one defeat past five, 58 percent four for them heading into this. Last time around, though, over in uh, Torquay, it was a 3 1 win for Ultricum back in August 2021. Ultricum, though, did draw with Gateshead in the FA Cup qualifying. They'll do that again. As will Torquay, they drew with Hampton and Richmond. They'll do that again, uh, of course, before this game. Game, but the odds right here right now for Torquay Ultringham has uh, the Ultringhams, uh, the, the away side here, favoured for the victory here. Back in Torquay, though, with a 1-0 win for their three points of the bag. Home advantage, and away they go, of course. They are bottom of the table. They need a result. But Ultringham are, of course, uh, uh, towards the bottom end as well. That's my take. Be sure to get your own take. And if I'm right, this is what the table will look like. Torquay off the bottom. Uh, and, of course, it's kind of replacing them. Notts County are extending their lead at the tip of the top of the table. Well, that, my friends, is what I've got for you. Make sure you smash your subscribe. Get over here, though. Cutley Forshaft non-league. It is 100% free. It'll get your name in lights. And, of course, smash the thumbs up. Smash your subscribe. See you soon for the next one. Whenever that is. But until then, guys and girls, we are done right now.